Hello and welcome. You are onto Hacker World Technologies. We're going to show you how to make a simple continuity tester. This one is called Hacker World 1.0 Continuity Tester. And we're going to show you how this is, is made and how useful it could be. Now, first of all, what you're looking at here is an LED. The LED is on. We flip this around. It can flip around 360 degrees, no problem at all. It doesn't affect the functionality. That's the good thing about this. Now, it goes off and comes on. It goes off and comes on. What does this do? How is this useful? Why is this useful? This is useful if you are cabling your house. You have four, five, six or more cables. And you don't know which one is which. You want to find out which cable is the one you are trying to connect to. You can use this simple equipment that costs less than $3 to find out which cable that you're connected to. And just look at this cable. Um, at, the, at the other end, we have what we call a stub. You see there's a shorter cable here connected through a cable connector to another cable. And when I take this off, when I unscrew this, you find out that my Hacker World continuity tester is off. It doesn't matter if the switch is in the on or in the off position. The LED is off. So you need the stub. When I, br when I bring it over here and I connect the stub here, you need this stub to complete the circuit. And we will show you, we will give you the analysis of the circuit in a little bit. So you have the, this stub here connected through this cable connector. It goes through all this. And then right here, when I flip my switch on, then the Hacker World Continuity Tester is on, showing me that this cable is not just the it's not just the right one that I'm connected to, but also the cable is true. The cable has no breakages or open circuits in it. So you can use it to find out, to confirm that your cable has no breakages, no open circuits. That's if you don't have digital meters like this that you can use easily to find out if there's open circuit or breakages. You can use this to test if there's open circuit or breakage. That's number one. Number two, you can also use it to test if there's a shot. If I remove the stub, and the LED is still on, then it shows that there's a short in the coaxial cable, which is a rare case. But just in case it happens, you can use it to find out if there's a short or if there's an open circuit. Good thing to do. And then also you can use it to sort between cables. If I have multiple cables, like I have in this case, I have multiple cables, and I want to know which one I'm connected to. All I need to do is go to the other end and connect my stub and come to this end and connect my Hacker World 1.0 continuity tester and when I flip on the switch it tells me if I'm on the right cable or not now, now let's show you how we made this let's show you how you can make this yourself all you need is this battery compartment holder you don't have to use exactly what we use you can use any readily available battery compartment so what we have here is a battery compartment holder and this is actually originally from a torchlight this was a torchlight that we got today from the dollar store. So that's the head of the torchlight. So we took the torchlight apart, and we didn't need this the reflector and the, the 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 reflector and the bulb. We didn't need this. We needed the battery compartment. And if you if you look here, when you push through here, you see there are two AA batteries inside. You have two double A batteries. So this is doing just the work of holding the batteries for us. Now, having said that, it's exciting, it's interesting to know that this battery compartment holder is very, is very, very versatile. You know, you have the switch on it and it can actually flip 360 degrees. So you don't really need to keep it in a particular place. However, it is possible you have a hook, you can hook it up somewhere to help you hold it. And then you can flip the head around to suit you to, to, to any direction that you want. And now how we made this, look closely here. From the battery compartment, you have two wires, two connections coming out. There is one coming from over there, that's from the negative connection of the battery, and over here you have the positive terminal coming out. And what we did was connect a 100 ohm resistor. This resistor here is a 100 ohm resistor. Uh, the choice of this resistor is to limit the current that is flowing through the LED. We didn't want to have uh, all the current flow through the LED, and we didn't want to block off all the current, so we chose a very moderate, moderate value. You can actually use different kinds of resistors. Here at Hacker World, we have different types of resistors. 
we have 10 kilo ohm resistors we have 47 kilo ohms resistors and we have 100 kilo ohm resistors we have a bunch of other resistors but we chose to use the 100 ohm resistor because we are dealing with 3 volts battery here and um, we have LEDs different types of LEDs we have the reddish types and we also have uh, uh, the flat type they are all reddish also and we have the green LED so here is the green LED that we have here but the reason we chose the red one here is because the, the this portion of the device is green already so we want a, a different kind of color a contrasting color if you like now for this LED to come on the circuit has to be complete through the battery from the positive to the negative now coming from the positive of the battery the, the current should normally go through the the resistor and then through the anode of the LED and coming from the cathode of the LED should go to the ground but instead of going to the ground we put a connector this connector we got from a dollar store it costs um, one dollar for two of this so it's like 50 cents each if you like so we have the connector here and the the cathode of our LED goes to the central part of the connector and then the outer part of the connector goes through the ground so to complete the circuit we need to find a way to shut the the center to the outer part the center of the connector to the outer part of the connector if we if the current can find a way to to jump to to connect to link up these two parts then the LED will come on and how do we do that we use what we call a stub and here is one right here this is a simple stop that we made we have a coaxial cable shorted at the end very short you can see if you measure it with your, your your finger you can see how small the um the stop is we have a very short maybe one or two inches in length about two inches and then we short circuit at the end so this is your stop and it has a connector here so what we did is when you connect the stop to the continuity tester, the Hacker World 1.0 continuity tester. When you connect this together, the LED should come on. Connected, and when we flip the switch on, 